Okay, should be able to keep this one short, actually. All the information is in the links. So, first off, Centaurum. Really? Really? Uh, let's see here. According to <laughs> the Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, that'd be crew, uh, this is the third most corrupt member of Congress, right? Top Comes in top three. Let's see here. We've got Conrad Burns, Bill Frist, and Rick Santorum at number three, right? Uh, dear, oh dear, and this is the guy that's winning all over the place, right? This is the guy that has the, you know, the evangelicals and the Christians all up and, you know, coming out out of the woodwork, even though he doesn't have a campaign headquarters and no groundwork, they just come out and vote for this guy like crazy because... He's the most, one of the most corrupt members of Congress, and they don't know that, right? <laughs> anyway, look at, so anyway, just read the article, simple. Uh, another great one, um, this one actually doesn't prove anything, but it's just kind of odd that none of the Romney supporters would raise their hands and tell, and like you see one or two guys in the back of the room, and it, you could see that the guy didn't want to take his mic all the way to the back of the room, because there was one guy uh, with his hand up, but it's kind of a little strange there. But like I said, that one doesn't really prove anything, but I just thought it was interesting. Um, and then, of course, uh, the Ron Paul Super PAC prepares effort to combat election fraud. At last. Right? Now notice, again, Ron Paul cannot be on the air going, I got robbed in Nevada. I got robbed. Right? There's just no way. Because, they, like I said, they'll eviscerate him. They'll, they'll just call him a conspiracy theorist and make it... You're crazy because the mainstream media line is there's no vote fraud in the United States. Everything's up and up. Our elections are fair. Even though when Ron Paul guys try to get there and watch them count the vote, they're not allowed in. Even though for the first time ever in Iowa, they're counting the vote in secret. They count the vote in secret. They count the vote on voting machines that have been proven to be hacked. They've been, you know, I mean, over and over and over again. Um... But the mainstream media line is, ain't a problem in the United States. Everything's fine. Go back to sleep. We're picking a guy for you. Um, so anyway, the Ron Paul Super PAC, see, he can distance himself from it, and they can put some of these guys in jail. Look at the black box uh, voting uh, link that I have down there, where she just put uh, tons of links. That link leads to tons more links that just basically shows, of course, Bev did her homework, as usual, right, and shows who these people are, Names, names, and then we gotta get some pictures so we can see the faces of these guys. The same guys get hired. Right? Anyway, just read it. I don't have to reiterate. It's just very simple. Uh, black box voting. The link is below. It becomes very clear that there is a pattern of fraud, corruption, and deception. And the the PAC, the super PAC, had better put some of these guys in jail. Like I said, these guys need to go to jail. Fraud is illegal in the United States. And even the most brain dead among you look down there among <laughs> here. I have a link to Ron Paul's performance to date and the importance of voting. This one just shows up to Nevada. And uh, I don't care who you are. Look at that graph, right? I mean, it's a bar chart. should be very simple for you to see that everywhere else he picked up tons of votes except for Nevada. Really? He only picked up, what, 100? Not even 100? Um, Really? And, but even in Nevada, where he's like wildly popular, he was drawing huge crowds. And anyway, we know that there were some problems in Nevada. Uh, come in second in Minnesota. See, what they're able to do is they're able to flip the votes. Right? It's as simple as that. Colorado? I can't say. I don't know. That seems a little fishy. I don't know. Right? But I mean, seriously, Santorum, that sweep, each one of those is a little bit dubious. Just a little bit. So there needs to be more investigation. Again, you guys need to authenticate and verify and all you guys saying, oh, we're not even into, we're barely into this thing. I mean, like, there's hundreds more, thousands of delegates. I mean, we're barely into the thing. So for you guys to be saying he needs to be running third party or, you know, they're never going to let him in as the fix is in, that's pr probably true. But at the same time, this thing's not over. And if you get out there and authenticate and verify, they'd have a much more difficult time. And now that the super PAC is in there, I think they're going to be a little more wary Probably not, because they're pretty blatant about it, and they know the wheels of justice turn slowly, and that by the time these guys get prosecuted, the election probably will be over, but that's beside the point. The point is, these guys need to be prosecuted for fraud. You guys need to help them out as much as possible. Authenticate and verify, bring as much evidence as you can to the table, put it on YouTube, put it in you know your blogs, because the MSM is not going to do it, and Ron Paul can't. And like I said, Ron Paul is doing his job. He's making the speeches, he's drawing the crowds, he's saying the right things, right? He's wildly popular. 
So now all we got to do is do the work and not get frustrated because the bottom line is if he runs as a third party, who's going to count the votes? Again, it's the same guys counting the votes now is going to be counting the votes then. So what's it matter? We need to clean up the vote. That's a big thing. And then the other thing is the Federal Reserve. Those are the two two things, right? And all these side issues Obama's trying to bring up about abortion and gay marriage, blah, blah, blah. That's all side issues as compared to all the money and going to war with, say, Iran, right? And and using the, the NDAA to, to, to go to war with Iran, basically, saying, I don't got to consult the UN. I don't need to consult Congress. I'm just, I'll go to war if I, I go to war if I want to go to war, right? No, that's not how it works. President does not declare war. Congress does, period. Again, the Constitution, the Constitution, the Constitution. And the only guy talking about the Constitution and ending the Fed uh, is Ron Paul. And he needs to be in the debates until the very last day, right? Until finally, uh, you know, there, when there is no other choice, then maybe we talk about third party. But until then, just quit whining, authenticate and verify, get out there, Right? There are so many states where Rick Santorum and, and Gingrich couldn't even get on the ballot. 538 delegates worth. They couldn't even get on the ballot. And then we have proven vote fraud where it didn't work because they didn't get away with it. Where Gingrich was trying to forge the signatures. Trying to fake the signatures. Right? These guys... <sighs> anyway. I say it over and over again. You put your head down, work harder, right? <laughs> Got to get twice as many people out to get half as many votes counted, right? As simple as that. I'm telling you, everybody, we got to work ten times harder. And not, but I mean, just put your head down, put your nose to the grindstone, and do whatever you can, whenever you can. Do as much as you can. My grandma used to say, don't let the things that you can't do stop you from doing the things that you can do, right? So get out there and do the stuff that you can do. And I'm telling you, we got a long fight ahead of us. This thing is nowhere near over. But what they would love it, they would love to see you guys throw in the towel and be like, oh, we can't win this thing. Right? Why should we even come out anymore? No, just get out there and do it. And authenticate and verify. We've got the pack in there now. These guys, I'm telling you, they're going to go to jail. Right? Some of these guys are sticking their necks out and they're going to realize, you know, they're going to get their, their, their the comeuppance comes always think about this gandhi said it right the, the bad guys never win they never win it's as simple as that okay the only time the bad guys win is when the good guys do nothing and the good guys aren't doing nothing they're out there working so get along out there and work with them and do as much as you can all right that's all i got to say ron paul 2012 man